What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Chris. I got Mr. Five Forty Five Forty TV in the building. If you have it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like and comment on all videos. Make sure you turn the post notification on so you get notifications every time I upload. Today we will be reviewing and installing the Vantop Discovery Eight Six Twelve T Mirror Mounted Dash Camera. A couple of specs on this camera. The camera does have a Ultra HD 4K front camera and a 1080p rear camera. The 4K makes an incredible difference from the other resolutions and capturing details from the distance. It does have an 8 megapixel Sony uh, sensor, which is on the front camera to enhance night vision. This um, mounted camera is also hands-free. It comes with different specs here, as you see night vision. Um, it starts recording if like someone get near your car. It does have a touch display, 4K, 1080p, as I said before, GPS, and has a microphone. So we are going to install this on my Mercedes, my Mercedes S550. But the install is pretty much simple, and it can go for any vehicle. But I am going to install it on my Mercedes. So let's get to the install. All right, before the install, let's get to the unboxing of this to see what kind of contents come in it. Um, this little sleeve was on it here. It come with a box, and the box is like good quality as far as, you know, it doesn't like bend easily to damage the product. Um, so let's open this part here up. And that is actual our camera, which the camera is 12 inches long. So it's a nice size camera, and the camera will be definitely longer than your regular camera all right so we see at the top we have a usb we have the av we have our sd card and our gps where which we have a gps antenna that we will be plugging in i'm guessing that's for the power at the bottom and the microphone there that's pretty much nothing else there speakers on the back and this does have film that we will be removing. So let's put this aside. Oh, also too, these parts right here, clips onto your existing uh, mirror, re re reverse mirror or backup mirror. And it has straps that goes on it that holds everything in place. All right, now we're getting to the bottom of the box here. These are those straps. And I'm guessing um, we have four here in case you know you pop one or break one. Uh, we got this little cloth to clean off the mirror. This little spudger type thing here. Our GPS antenna. And we will be using for now um, our cigarette lighter to power it up. And here is our 1080p camera, which uh, we will be installing also but we will do that at a later time probably we might do it this video i don't know we might get to it but here's our camera so that's pretty much all the components and we have a little documentation here use the manual on how to use it but everything's pretty much uh self-explanatory it's nothing difficult so if you are looking to purchase this item i did get mine off of ebay and i believe it was like 149.99 which is a pretty good deal um I did see some cheaper version ones, but I knew that this was um, a great product, great brand, great company. So I went with this one instead of the other ones. And plus the other ones were not on uh, 4K. So, you know, of course that 4K is gonna mean a lot when you look at this screen here. So let's go ahead and get to the Mercedes and let's get to the install. All right, everybody. So we are back in the Mercedes S550. Again, this will work for any vehicle. It doesn't have to be a Mercedes. And long as your vehicle has a rear view mirror, which is state law for you to have one. So make sure your vehicle does have a rear view mirror or this will not um, install correctly. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and pull this out here. And we notice at the top, as I said before, we do have a USB which will be going to the cigarette lighter to get power and our GPS. So what I want to do before I do connect this with those, um, these brackets here or 
whatever you want to call these. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get that connected. And also, look, there's the mirror, so we're going to make sure we take the tape off there. But let's go ahead and get the USB and the GPS already connected. Right. So as you see, I do have everything connected as far as the power, which will go cigarette lighter with the indicator on the back showing that there is power going to it. And we also have our GPS, which is right here. So we're gonna figure out where we wanna connect everything after we have gotten this um, put up. The only thing I don't like so far is being able to see those connectors at the top. But I guess, you know, hey, for the device and for what it do, it really don't matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and get um, this put up here and get the braces put on the back so everything holds in place. All right, so I would did go ahead and connect the rear view camera, which connects right beside the power um, connector here, the USB power connector. So I'm gonna connect to that because we will be installing that today also. Um, so we're gonna start working on our GPS wire. We're probably gonna paste, place our GPS uh, module right down here in the corner. So, pretty much what we're gonna do is all this area up here, we will tuck the wire and bring it all the way down and try to stuff as much back here as possible or you know wherever we can stuff it at because it's real open here. Uh, every vehicle has this open here for y'all to kind of stuff and we're gonna put it right here. All right, so I will be back after I've stuff everything in the I don't know if the modem or whatever it is up here all right so we got our gps wire um i'm gonna fix that a little more tuck that somehow actually i see how i'm gonna do it there we go so we got the wire going along the windshield along the moon and our gps module is actually right there on the corner as you see, you can't see any type of wire, so that's how we really want it. And you see how big my mirror is. You know, most mirrors aren't that big, but I'm gonna say this mirror for you, but. So yep, so then now let's work on hiding our power wire and our AV wire, which is going to our rear view camera. So we will be taking along this side, the power wire, I'm gonna take it along the side here. It's gonna go under the dashboard over here to the cigarette lighter. Our AV wire is gonna go the same route up there. Take it down there and we're gonna go along the side motor all the way through the back seat. Um, we could, I could actually put those seats down. So I'm gonna run the wire through the inside to the back. And then we're gonna install our rear view camera and then we will fire this thing up. I don't even want to fire it up without everything plugged up because I know I've seen it in action, so it's gonna give it more justice, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, routing these wires, at least um, for the power wire, and then I will be back with the finished product as far as the routing of the wires. All right, we do have our power wire uh, ran. It's going through there going through there and it's going along the side molding here and it's going under here i'm gonna have to get some zip ties to zip that up real nice and tight got to go along there and then it does come out from right here which it will connect right in there i did have a lot of wire left so i did stuff as much as i can in there also if i do need to pull out some um i can do as such and so our AV wire, which is for our backup camera, is going the same route, but when it get here, it's going through here. I got it going through this way, and not this way, but I got it going up here, which you see, I need to tuck a little more. Actually, let's do that now. Well, we'll do that later. Um, I'm gonna tuck that a little more, and it's coming around here, which I'm gonna tuck that, and it's going down. And so let's look. So you see it coming out there, and I'm gonna just continue to tuck it in. 
until I get down to the bottom here. And then I'm gonna go under here. Probably have to use my two hands for this, but, but actually I probably can get to it. Let's see. So I'm just use two hands, but you get the gist of what I'm trying to do. Let's bring this out, so. So it is coming up, so I ain't gonna worry about that. All right, so when I get here, there's a crease here. I'm gonna take the wire that way. So again, whenever you have wire that you're trying to hide, or just, no, just have wire, make sure it's like hidden really well. Um, you do not want any type of wire showing. It should be like, how did you get that from there to there? So, we got a lot of wire left. And our trunk is right here. So, um, what we're going to do is I'm going to take it through here. Take it behind the seat. Do an opening that's back here. And it's going to open up through my trunk, which is probably dirty. It's going to open up right back there. And then I'm gonna take it along this area here. Here, along the back of this panel, up here. And I'm gonna place it right there on that side. And I do have a camera still for my um, regular, my factory um, radio, but that's fine. I'm not worried about that. So let's get to hiding this wire. And I will be right back. The next clip should be us turning it on and, you know, working, playing with the functions. All right, so I got our rear view camera um, mounted and the wires ran. Well, not mounted yet, but I did get the wires ran. And I did have to find little holes and passages uh, to run the wire. So if you have an S550 or most vehicles, you probably gonna have to take this bottom seat out. So. I took the bottom seat out, ran a wire through here under the seat, and came up through here. So with this vehicle, I did not know that there was a passage here. Um, I pulled this down, I saw the little lever, and as you see, there's a fuse box, but there was a cover over it. So I got my wire ran through the fuse box there, all the way to the back. And so I removed the back cover, which is here, and the wires ran from out the fuse box, it's ran up here, it's going right there, and we got it going all the way up here to here. And then it's connected there. So the way I got my camera connected was, this panel here came off, I used my little spudger and pulled the panel off because it is held by clips. So once I pulled the cover off, I saw that this rivet, which is a clip that holds the panel on, I took it off of the panel, which exposed the hole, which is where I ran my wire through for my camera. And then I connected it here. This wire here is for your reverse light. We won't be using a reverse light. Our camera will work 24 seven. Um, so we're not really worried about a reverse light. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and put all my panels and stuff back on or whatnot. And we will be right back. So the next thing we should be looking at is the finished product of everything ran correctly and also um, the camera working. So let's get to it. What's up everybody? So I finally got everything connected back. I got all the panels, everything put back, all the cords hidden. So let's turn this on for the first time. That's my phone in my uh, car. So it does say, uh, welcome to something, van top, I guess. So the way to switch cameras is you swipe. So you swipe to the left to switch cameras. So that is my front camera. My back camera, I do got to position a little better. As you see, I'm gonna position the down some. And that's the dual 
um, mirror. So it's showing the front and the back at the same time. So I like that, that's pretty nice, pretty dope. Um, and it does add a nice uh, luxurious type thing in my Mercedes or any vehicle. So let's go to the settings here. So we have back, we got resolution, which is 4K. We got loop recording, time lapse, record audio, G sensor, parking guard, license, which I don't know what that is. I'm gonna definitely, oh, so I guess my license plate maybe, I don't know. But um, screen saver, video and code, frequency, USB mode, uh, key voice, speaker, boot sound, which we're gonna turn that off. Um, stream media, language, date and time. And I think we do have more. Yeah, so we got format, default, speech recognition, diversion, GPS test, time zone, speed calibration, and speed unit. Which, you know, the speed unit is gonna show um, how fast you're going while you're driving, which is very dope. Um, so what I did turn off for three minutes ago was the boot sound, and that said, welcome to van top, or whatever it said. You know, I don't want that every time I start a car up, so yeah. So let's put the speaker at high. Um, it, it's dope, man. I, I love it. It was not a hard install. Um, the hardest part was just hiding the wires, but this actually installed easy, very simple. I mean, I could have been turned it on by just plugging in the power and connected it to the cigarette lighter, but you know, had to make sure everything else worked also. I, like I said, I love it. It's very dope. So, yep, man. So that's it, y'all. I hope y'all like the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell to get all notifications every time I upload. Thank y'all for watching the video. Again, go ahead and join the 540 game. Uh, we got a lot of more stuff, a lot of more mods to do. And I think this was, was a very simple mod. I mean, anybody could have really installed this. So thank y'all for, uh, watch, for get, watching again. And, you know, I'll talk to y'all on the next video. Peace.